Hello everyone, welcome to the new normal of vacuum cleaner unboxing. I'm having to take extra precautions now I'm afraid to open this vacuum. I've got a biohazard suit on, a face mask, a visor and goggles. I've lost my gloves so I'm just going to have to risk it this time. So if I can see I'm all steamed up now but hopefully I'll be able to see enough to be able to unbox the vacuum cleaner that's next to me. This is what has become of the world. To unbox a vacuum cleaner, you now have to take extra precautions in order to protect yourself. Like a lot of the older vacuum cleaners I've shown you on my channel, I used to own them and then they got sold in a big massive cull that I've been regretting ever since. But slowly but surely, I've been building the collection up again to incorporate many cleaners that I used to own. This Electrolux 170, my um, friend Michael, his mother had one of these. In fact, I bought it off, I think it was for 10 pounds and I had it in the early 80s. I was still at school and I remember saving up 10 pound and um, his mother was quite happy with 10 pounds for this vacuum so this is not obviously the one here yeah, it'd be ironic if it was but uh we'll go through oh there's something in the bottom of this bag oh <laughs> oh cracky what is it i'm not touching it i know you want to see the vacuum but oh right well it's not as horrific as i thought but Looks like it's a jelly baby, doesn't it? I'll eat that later. Will I heckers like? For a start, it's got gelatine in, so as a vegan, I can't eat it, but do you think I'd eat that anyway? Ah! Oh dear. Well, here, it, oh, it's out, oh dear. That was quick. That was a quick birth. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Here it sort of is. Oh, heck. Right. Yeah. So far it looks okay. Right, I'm going to take all that off in a minute. We'll have a very quick look just to see what... Oh, it stinks. It stinks. We'll see what else we've got in here. Fast forward, just take your finger and scroll along if you don't want to see. Wait until I get to the vacuum, but... <sighs> well, it's a foreign, a foreign bag. I don't know where that's from. Can you read the foreign? Uh, I don't know. Oh my Lord. Reiki. Now only people of a certain age will remember these. These are co-op, I think they're called dividend stamps and you used to get given them when you used to shop at the co-op when you used to put them in a book I think and then you could save up for things. And this is 40. It goes in your stamp collecting book. Oh, that's a blast. I'll put that to one side, it's quite interesting. Ah. I'm glad I've, I'm glad I've got this on actually now. This is why. Uh, <laughs> anyone anyone want a a nice new pillow for their bed? You're welcome to this one. I'm heaving. Yep. Oh, crikey! I dread to think what's under here. You know, more bags. Bit of newspaper. What year is the newspaper from, I wonder? Nurse charged with ex-lover's murder. Oh dear. Ah, 2005. So it's not really old. Well, I don't think there's much else to show you, fortunately. A lot of the weight. They've put, they've put the padding in the wrong place. Look. Ooh, right, it's a lot of all this horrible stuff. So, 
that's it I think I'm gonna have to go to the tip if it's open and get rid of all that horrible horrible stuff right okay let's pause the camera and have a closer look at this stinky Electrolux well on first impressions I'm very pleased with this cleaner obviously I haven't switched it on yet it doesn't seem to have got any damage in transit there was a little repair to the mains cable but all in all I think this is going to clean up very well and this video is going to be a bit different from most of my other videos I'm actually going to do a before and after so I'm not going to show you cleaning this up I'm going to do it leisurely in my own time replace any parts I can replace and then when you see this again later in the video it'll be downstairs I'll be properly dressed and I'll be downstairs in my living room and I'll actually uh, do a proper demo of this I'm going to switch it on in this first half to show you what it's like before I refurbish it let's have a closer look starting with the underside of the cleaner which I haven't even looked at yet well I'm afraid it's all gone a little bit pear-shaped looking at the underside quite a lot of rust here on this metal base plate and I can hardly move the brush roll so I'm going to have to undo this one screw by the looks of it I'll be able to clean this uh, up a bit but unless I can get it replated I don't know if you can get things like this replated I don't know but I didn't see a picture of the underside of this cleaner all I saw on the listing the seller listed this alongside a very very battered I think it was an Electrolux 550 and I think the starting bid was £33 for the two collection only and obviously I didn't want the battered 550 but I really wanted this so although it was collection only I said to the seller oh, oh. I said to the seller could you post it if I arranged a courier so I offered him an amount and I'll tell you how much it was I offered him uh, well I offered him 120 pounds buy it now for this I know you say 120 pounds for that you you must be an idiot but these are pretty rare now I don't often see these on eBay and I've been looking for a while so anyway um, he wouldn't post it himself or something anyway what happened was I ended up giving him £110 and I arranged for the courier he boxed it up as you saw and I got the courier I paid for the courier my end okay and it took quite a lot of toing and froing for, for me to get the dimensions of the box and everything but it eventually came oh oh it does have beta bars if you can just about see under all that mess and there's an awful lot of gunk but I think when this is cleaned up oh heck oh that's that's I think that's spider web or spider's nest what's all this <laughs> this is going to be very satisfying to clean up I don't know oh no that's supposed to be there it's a it's a clip of some type right well I'm gonna I'm gonna risk turning it on um, oh it's not gonna work I won't I will turn it on briefly but the belt is that slack it's uh, it's not gonna do much I have sourced a brand new brush roll for this whether or not the seller actually has them when I order we'll have to see I need to get the belt but yeah it's pretty dirty this is a dirty fan Electrolux and I think in here don't scream if a big spider comes rushing out wondering what I'm doing to its home oh heck Ooh, this is probably one of the worst vacuums it looks very good and fairly clean on the outside but when you delve a bit deeper I'm going to I'm going to indulge myself with this one and indulge you if you wouldn't mind let me just lean over I'm gonna make this a two-parter so if you are seeing this video you can be sure that the second video is going to follow within a couple of days or even later today I'm not sure but before I upload this one I'm going to have had this all cleaned up and working properly 
So I'd like to show you now what it's like. So I'm just going to take the hood off. I've never seen inside the hood. I don't even remember taking the hood off the 170 I used to own and it was exactly this model. I think now folks I've filled all the gaps I wanted to fill in my Electrolux 70s Electrolux collection. So I've got this which was really the last upright I wanted. I wouldn't mind an Electrolux 500. I used to have one again but getting one of those is pretty hard. I've managed to get a 502 which I might have shown you already which I wanted, which was my mum's vacuum. I've got the 504, which was my grandparents' vacuum. Uh, I've got 345. Um, I've got all the vacuums I wanted, really, um, from the 70s Electrolux lineup, more or less. But this was, I don't know if I'm going to have to undo any more screws. I'm trying to take the hood off, you see. And I, I don't know if I need to hood off to, uh, oh, look, that comes away. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm going to find here, folks. It's all so dirty. I really shouldn't be doing it on this nice, clean rug. Should have put a dirty rug down, shouldn't I? But, oh, well, I'm, I'm just excited to, to get this working. Ooh. Right. Oh, there we are. Ooh. I should, I should have gloves on. But that, actually... I will still order, because the bearings might be shot, this feels quite rough. I will still order a, uh, the new brush roll, because I think I should be able to clean that up, but yeah, it's, it's not replaceable brush strips, look, it's, it's all built in, the beta bar's built in. I didn't say, did I, this is dirty fan, a dirty fan, ooh! <laughs> Right, if you don't like spiders, folks, don't look, because when I prod this about, who knows what's going to come out of here. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Well, I think whatever's, whatever used to live in here has long moved out. I think, I hope. I mean, I'm not scared of spiders, but if one <laughs> jumped out on me, I wouldn't be too pleased. Oh, heck. I don't even want to put my hand on that. But I will. Ugh. It's absolutely disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, folks. There's all sorts up here. I'm just, oh dear, what's that? Oh, heck. Hang on a minute. Ah, uh, that's not right, folks. That's not right at all. I don't think. It's a good job I'm looking at this now. I've seen what's under here. I can't get the belt off. There are, I don't know if you'll be able to see. Can you see those wires? Just, I know it's hard to show you. There's some wires sticking out right next to the belt pulley. I'm sure that's not supposed to be like that. If I was to turn this on with those wires there, well, could have been a bit nasty. Now, I'm wondering if I have to undo, there's two more screws just here. Um, I'm wondering if I have to undo those to take the hood off. Now, there are two, two, was it two or three catches? To remove the hood there's uh, a little tab there and one on the other side i'm not sure i'll undo these i can see here from the rating plate it's 280 watts so yes it's a dirty fan cleaner but with a hard case around the dust bag and the dust bag comes out in quite an unusual way it comes out like a top fill bag, like the Electrolux 500 series, but it's the whole bag housing swivels. Right, I think that's it. So, I need, I definitely need to remove the hood.
because there's something not quite right. This is probably, oops, not going to work. I don't want to break anything because spares, oh, spares for this. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. Oh. <laughs> Golly gosh, that smells. That stinks. Oh, what is this? What is all this stuff? I hope that's just muck and not part of the thing and it should be there. I don't know if it's... You see, I don't know if that's perished. Something that's perished. Oh, God. Oh, this rug is going to have to be shampooed or uh, thrown out. There's a metal lining there and there's a little neon that's the mains on indicator that is absolutely why is the tape oh look it's got a great big crack in it as well I've got some stuff that I can repair that from the inside well yeah I'm regretting spending 110 pounds on this but You've got to take these where you can find them because, oh heck, the whole thing is just absolutely, uh, absolutely, this is going to be a major, major job. Just look at that. I mean, that metal fan, that's running, that, that seems quite smooth. But what I wasn't keen on was the fact that there was a load of wires showing. These wires here look right, but they seem to be okay. I think this motor's been out. Something's happened to this cleaner. I'm not going to be turning it on in this video. <laughs> There's the on off switch. Um, this, this is a complete strip down job, isn't it? Uh, a complete strip down for this because it is absolutely shot to pieces. This little seal, I don't know which side this was. Ooh, God. It's all clogged up. It's all clogged up. Look at it. I, I bet that, I bet that seller couldn't believe his luck. Absolutely couldn't believe his luck. I don't think the seller probably knew where this, this originated. Anyway, look, folks, that, as you can see, is a vacuum very much in need of restoration so i'm going to leave the video here i'm going to start it soon actually i'm going to i'm going to undo as much as i can i think this there's a screw hole here that can i can take the whole bag unit that this sort this half will clean up easy enough and then i'll just have to look into stripping the motor as much as i can getting the rust off lubricating it but that's one saving grace that does seem pretty smooth but I bet you I bet you you know yeah it looks like the carbon brushes will need replacing I'll see if I can get some carbon brushes I'm not sure how this is going to turn out if I look hard enough someone might have a motor there's a big suppressor by the looks of it there ready to go bang but look at it absolutely disgusting I feel dirty okay here's a little bonus for all my viewers that have stayed to the end I've actually I've cleaned it up a little bit obviously just with a wet wipe and I've reassembled it correctly without all the wires sticking through onto the motor spindle i'm so glad i checked that before switching it on um the brush roll is turning better but i think it's going to need a bit of bit of help and i don't think the belt will rotate the agitator very much that obviously needs replacing but it's all back together better than it was anyway so I'm just going to put the base plate back on and then I'm a bit apprehensive about doing this, especially with this machine. But I'm going to switch it on in this video and it'll be interesting 
if the motor does sound completely shot or dead. Hopefully in the next video you'll see what I've managed to do, whether I've had to find a motor from somewhere or manage to fix the one that's uh, inside this cleaner. But anything, everything in here now is 100% better. That's slipping a bit, so I don't think that's going to rotate very well with the brush, uh, with this, sorry, with the existing belt. But anyway, oh, I'm going to switch it on. Okay, folks, my heart is going 10 to the dozen. I've no idea what to expect. I'm really nervous about this, but uh, I don't know if it's on at the cleaner yet, but I've plugged it in. I've just got to flick the switch at the socket. The worst that could happen, it could blow up and it'll trip my electrics. That's the worst thing. Hopefully that's the worst thing. <laughs> Here it goes. Okay, wish me luck, folks. Right, it didn't turn on, but what I did notice, the mains on light on the hood did come on, so that works. Okay, I've switched the switch. Oh dear me. Okay then, here goes. Well, apart from it uh, spewing out a bit of muck, that doesn't sound bad. <laughs> Crikey, considering how it looked, that didn't sound bad at all. Just uh, check the old brush roll. I have uh, switched it off again at the wall. Obviously, the belt needs replacing, but the motor sounds okay. So I'm very surprised. So hopefully, it's just going to involve a bit of a clean up, and um, I'll source a belt, hopefully a filter for the front box, and. Um, Possibly the agitator, which I have seen on an old website. Well, it's a store that's got some old stuff, so hopefully they'll have them in stock. Well, I hope uh, it was worth staying to the end. Um, my heart is still pumping, but anyway, that's a lot better than I thought it would be. Thanks for watching, everyone, and you'll see this Electrolux 170 again, hopefully very soon, looking and sounding even better. Bye for now.